Okay, for the main riff, you're gonna start off with a D major. Um, this pattern throughout is gonna be very similar. You're gonna start off with the open on your uh, D string, and then you're gonna arpeggiate up from your B string up to the D. Then starting off on the high E, arpeggiate up to the D. So all together. Next you will move your thumb to the 2nd fret on your low E and then fall back into the same pattern. Then you're going to move to a G6, moving your 2nd finger to the 3rd fret on your low E and keeping the G and high E open and then 3rd fret on the B of course. And then same pattern after the lead note. Next we'll move to this A7 shape. Um, what you want to do is pluck your A string and your B string at the same time with your 3rd fret on your B string fretted. Sliding that 3rd fret down to the 2nd. And then you want to dump down on this A7 and arpeggiate it out you know, from the G string up and then from the B up to the D. That run all together slow. And then back into the D or you know whichever part you're going into. So that main riff all together slow. So there's a little extension that goes on twice throughout the main verse, or the main riff of the song. And also I'd like to add that he does play it finger style throughout. Um, I'm obviously using a pick, but if you want to do it exactly like him, use your fingers. So anyway, the extension is going to be a G5 chord, and then the A7. So let me break that down for you. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to start off on the low E string with the 3rd fret and then you're going to arpeggiate it from the B string to the D and then from the high E up to the D and you'll do that twice so that will be Falling into the A7 run where you're plucking the A and B strings. And then you will fall into this arpeggio run again from, it's going to repeat from the B up to the A string, but it'll fall into it, you know, the same way you're, you do throughout the verse. And then it just keeps going two more times through. Last time it ends on the D string and then falls right back into the verse. So let me just play the extension all together slow. That's where it'll either end because it's the same part for the outro or you know going right back into the verse.
So for the strumming pattern, it uses the same pattern throughout, and then there's a little variation on the D chord. So it's going to be the A7, and your pattern is going to be down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So the same, the first two patterns repeat, and then the last one is just a down, up, down, up without a last down. So let me just run that slow for the A7. And then to the D set or D sus two. So it's the same pattern. I need there's a little variation, which if it's too difficult for you, just pass on it for now, but it is in there. So what it, what happens is it starts off on a D sus two, which is just a D major with an open high E. And you want to do a down strum and then drop down the D major, you know, dropping your uh, middle finger down on the second fret on a high E with the upstroke. So. Down, up, down, up, down. Then the second strum pattern through it, through this D progression would be down, up, down, up, down. So that last up, down is where you pull your middle finger off and then end it with a down strum on the D major. And then the last four are just on the D major, down, up, down, up. So let me play that whole riff slow together. on the A7.